Welcome to my channel. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm going to have a look at the Invoke AI workflow page. Once I learned a bit about it, let's find out how can I use it, in a practical sense. Invoke AI is my favorite to generate images, and the new version 3.3 has got new features, look at it later on. On the text to image page, you have the positive and negative window. You can generate number of images, steps 30 I usually choose, select your preferred model, and you can choose scheduler. I usually choose square aspect ratio 1024. These are the absolute basics you have to reproduce on the workflow page using nodes. Click on Workflow Editor. Click on Add Node. Type Main. Select Main Model. In the Main Model node, select your favorite model. Draw a line from the connector. New valid options presented for you to choose from to add nodes. This option is available in the latest edition in Vokei 3.3. This is great help especially if you are learning about nodes like myself. Node to add is denoise latence. If you look at the node, it has positive and negative conditioning. Draw a line from positive conditioning. Add prompt, which will be the positive prompt. Do the same for the negative node. Add a new node called Latence to Image. Let's make the page smaller. The next one is Noise Node. If you look at the interface of the text to image you are building a similar construction on the workflow page. Keep adding and connecting nodes to build a basic node workflow. To connect the nodes, you can just follow the color connectors. This is the very basic setup, and you can save it for future references. Add positive and negative prompts. Click on Invoke AI to generate image. Now you generated the first image using workflow. You can increase the image size in the noise node. Now I successfully learned the basic workflow and come to the conclusion, it is unlikely I will go further. Leave it to the professionals, and people has got loads of time to learn a new programming language. I already learned about nodes, using DaVinci Resolve video editing program, don't want to learn another one at the moment. If you're running a business, being a student, or just want to generate an image, you have to decide, what is the most effective way to do it? Let's say you have a project, all about history of the miniskirt, and you need to generate images for a poster, or some kind of presentation. The first important step is to learn how to describe an image to create a prompt. Click on Bing. 
If you I know nothing about this subject, as I usually going to ask my resident alien called Bing. As you can see, I already found some images for the project, but you still have to describe the image to create a positive prompt. You can type your question, or you can talk to your AI. Tell me about the history of miniskirt. Searching for history of miniskirt. The miniskirt is a fashion garment that has been around for centuries, but the modern version of the miniskirt that we know today was born out of a youth culture movement that strived to deviate from the repressed post-war 50s fashion. The miniskirt was a playful, rebellious garment, representing the shift in societal dynamics. Copy the text to your office file or edit the articles. How to generate prompts about miniskirts for AI image generation. Searching for miniskirt AI image generation. To generate prompts about miniskirts for AI image generation, you can use OpenAI's Doll Times E2. Doll Times E2 is an AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. It can combine concepts, attributes, and styles to generate original, realistic images and art from a text description. You can also try other free AI image generators such as Perchance, Photo, Hotpot.ai, or Pixlr. If you want to generate an image of a miniskirt, I can try to create that for you using an artificial intelligence model. Please note that the generated image may not be exactly what you have in mind, but I'll do my best to create something close to your description. Bing wants me to use Dolly to generate images. Next I type a simple question, generate prompts, to describe miniskirt. I will make another video about Dolly 3 later on. Now we are in business. There are more advice from Bing AI to generate images for your business. Tools for your business. Now you have the history of the miniskirt and the basic prompts to describe miniskirts. Time to generate AI images using Invoke AI first. Obviously, you can add more information to your basic prompts to make it more interesting, change color of the dress, and so on. Let's start to generate using the basic prompt. This is the first image. Make the image more interesting. Add, a young woman is walking down the street, wearing, to the positive prompt. Invoke AI supposed to generate only one image, but two beautiful women better than one. I'm not complaining. I would add, she looks happy, to the positive prompt. Now the images look better. Add more details for the positive prompt like, black belt and zipper, and carrying, a black leather handbag.
generate more images, add prompt like Chinese woman. Make images divers. Change the prompt again using a different style of miniskirt. As we done it before, add a new board or file, and name it according to the style of images generated. Move the same style of images to the new folder. Click on Q to see the images generated in the background. New and invoke AI 3.3. From the basic prompt, to the final positive prompt, you can see the difference. You can make new board, as much as you like, and move pictures to the relevant folder. Now, if you have limited knowledge generating AI images, you can use Focus AI. Very easy to use. In fact, this software is a perfect tool for your project. Open Focus AI, copy a positive prompt and click Generate. As simple as that. You will get two images as standard. If you want to have a bit more control, click on Advanced. I choose Quality Performance. You can select the size of the image. The negative prompt already inserted, but you can add yours as well. Click on Style. The basic style is cinematic. You have many options to try. Click on Model. Focus using SDXL Base Model and Refiner. You can download more models if you like. Click on Advanced. Don't need to change anything. Click on Generate. You can change the positive prompts as you desire. Time to produce your presentation using PowerPoint.
see you in the next video.